Hi everybody and welcome to the Twin Spires Triple Crown vidcast. My name is Peter Thomas Fornital and I'm here this week to talk about the Jerome Stakes from Aqueduct. The first thing I want to show you happens before the race even starts. Check out the one hole. This is astrology. You'll see here, right there, he attempts to break through the gate and while he doesn't make it all the way through, his head makes it through and uh, that was enough that Mike Smith cited it as a reason why he probably did not run his best race today and I'm inclined to agree with it. You'll see he breaks a step slowly and this will mark the second time in a row that astrology has an excuse. He raced at Sunland last time and I thought he made the front too quickly in a race that favorite horse is coming from further off the pace. So he's got two excuses on the year now. Here's a horse who does not have an excuse and that's number two Cal Nation. Cal Nation was the co-favorite in this race along with astrology who gets this nice spot down at the rail. Um, Cal Nation is racing on a track that's a sloppy track that favors speed and he's also not setting the hottest pace in the world and yet he's going to end up finishing last. My best guess is that something just went wrong. I don't think it was the slop based on his pedigree. That is possible. But my inclination if he comes back quickly is going to be to play against him as I don't really see the excuse here um, and sort of hope he gets some time on the bench and, and maybe we'll come back stronger later in the year. The next one we want to look at is Adios Charlie, our eventual winner. Traveling nicely here, outside the speed. He has a very unusual trip because uh, Justin Phillip, in the Zayat colors, is going to come up him on the outside and look for all the world like he's going to go right by. But Adios Charlie just keeps trying and is going to re-break down at the rail and put in a big run in the stretch. Part of what I think is happening here is maybe the littlest bit of an optical illusion because Justin Phillip, if you look at his form and figures, I really think he wants shorter than this. He's done his best work sprinting and it really looks to me, you know, there's a point here where it really looks like he's going to win and he just doesn't see out the trip. This is a horse I definitely want to look for on the cutback. Meanwhile, out here we have our buddy Astrology re-rallying kind of nicely to hold off Rattlesnake Bridge. Rattlesnake Bridge ran a pretty good race himself considering that he was one who was sort of against the flow of the race coming from further back on a speed favoring surface. So he's another one you can upgrade a little tiny bit and see what happens. And the question remains as to what to do with our winner, this good looking son of Indian Charlie. He's not nominated to the Triple Crown races. It looks to me um, from his pedigree, like he probably isn't a mile and a quarter, mile and a half horse anyway. I think they're going to run him in the Peter Pan in a couple of weeks. And given the favorable setup he had here and possibly being flattered by the optical illusion I talked about, I'm going to be inclined to make him show me how good he is the next time. I don't want to say exactly that I'm going to be wholly against him. I'm just going to downgrade him a little bit and uh, see if I can maybe come up with something clever to beat him, just depending on who else shows up. So those are my thoughts on the Jerome. I'll be back next week uh, talking about presumably the Derby trial and maybe also back in this space attempting to do some sort of overall preview of the Kentucky Derby talking about some of the things we've learned along the way during this series of Triple Crown vidcasts. That's it for me for Twin Spires. I'm Peter Thomas Fornital, signing off.